Hello Libra! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Art of Love Tarot by Denise Jarvie. Artwork by Tony Carmine Salerno. Website in the back is blueangelonline.com. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. Sorry about the, for the box falling there. Uh, support of Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website rockpoolpublishing.com.au is an Apple use an umbrella. Okay. What do we have for Libra? One card pushing out. Hmm. You had the King of Angels, which is the King of Air, King of Swords. Okay, so past connections. Conflict with past connections. Five of Wands. What does that say? Diversity? All right. Conflict with past connections. Diversity can be diversity of thought, just to be fair. I'm getting, like, conflict. Five of Wands to me is conflict. I feel like this was, when I look back on it, I'm like, oh, I didn't really like how that played out. I don't really feel like it had to go that way. Um... I feel like somebody made me look like I didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, diversity, conflict. Is it is it a current friendship or is it just a past friendship? Because I'm like... Hangman reversed and then the Ten of Pentacles. Um, distant at best. It may be like this person's still around, especially if you have to work with this person, but I might not be... I feel like I disconnected as much as I could without causing issue. You do have the um, Nine of Cups. I don't feel like this is somebody you really want to deal with, but there might be something like either it's a relative or like it's a relative of a friend or maybe it's the partner of a friend, or it's a coworker. It's something where I can't totally get away from this person, but I have put distance there. I just I'm cordial, but I'm like I don't really hang out with this person if I don't have to. And I seem to be okay with it at this point. Meanwhile, this person's trying to get back in. Um, I don't think you want that. Eight of Pentacles. This person is trying to get back in. They're working at it. It's like they're trying to get back on your good side or they're trying to like repair something. But I feel like the way you're looking at it is like, it's not like that. It's not like repairing it. It's kind of like they are who they are and they're just not your cup of tea. Um, it's not just that one moment it's like the way they are. They are th they are who they are, and the way they talk to people, and the way they cause conflict. I feel like this is somebody who is more likely to cause conflict, and I don't think you really care for that. And I don't think they realize why you don't really want to be connected with them. This is funny that this is coming in because I feel like it's not there. In the sense of, like, you don't trust that it'll be better if, you, if this person comes back into your life. You do trust that you know what they're like and what they're, what they're about. I feel like if this is like, I know. I know what this is about. It's kind of like, like, I know how they are. I know how they're going to be. I trust that I know what they're going to do. Um, it's weird how this card feels because it's kind of like, you know, being having them a part of your life, it does feel like it, that's a circus act that I'm not interested in. And this is the circus picture here. That's what I'm getting from it. It's very interesting. Like, that's a circus act I'm not interested in. Um, especially when this person kind of does what they do in the moment, and then they tend to be oblivious to how they really come off. They do seem a little bit disconnected with their effect on people. Um, and I feel like I understand what they're about, and I don't really want that in my life. And I keep going around and around and around about this. 
Um, like I really don't want their energy connected with mine if they don't have to be. The current energy, I feel like you're avoiding them. But they keep trying, and they're not backing off. They keep trying, but you're avoiding them. This is the Seven of Swords. This is the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is holding the line. Seven of Swords is kind of like just kind of ducking out, you know, ducking out during the rehearsal dinner, just ducking out or whatever. <laughs> just out, out. Not gonna, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave. It's kind of like halfway through the movie, it, you don't like it, so you leave. People are like, where'd you go? I'm like, oh, where I left. Because <laughs> I didn't like the movie. Um, you're avoiding it. But they're not backing down. They keep trying. All right, so what needs to happen with this for this to go better for um, Libra? Where, where's this supposed to go? Like, where, where's this, where, where's the advice here? There are some good qualities to this person. There's something coming forward that this person's going to be connected with. I feel like this is oddly, oddly enough less stress for you because this is a like the four of hearts is kind of like I don't like what's here. It's not the worst situation, but I don't like what's here. Go towards it. Handle this person in the sense of like, just figure out what it is they want. I would just go, they're saying take the direct approach. What is it that they want? Why are they working at this? I feel like if you find out why they're trying to get in good, because I don't see them backing off, they're going to keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. If you can just find out what it is they want, like why? Why are we doing this? Why are we going at this? Why is this becoming a thing? Head towards it, because you will find the opportunity. You are the king of swords in this situation. Start the conversation, start it on your terms. And that might be in a sense of like, for example, if you work with this person, search them down during break where it's just, there's only so much time, you can get an idea what they want. And then if you want to create a longer conversation later, you have the power to do that. You'll create your out, do it on your terms, go towards them. Cause there's an opportunity here for you that you're not aware of yet. What is it that they want? Once you find out what they want, then things can go forward. You got the, um, this is the star card. Sometimes this talks about Aquarius energy, which it doesn't have to, but that's a compatible energy. This is like an advancement, an opportunity to lead something forward, an opportunity to find information that wasn't originally available. You just need the information. You need to know what's going on. What is motivating them? You may think you know, but not actually know. You might have a piece of the information, but not enough to really see the picture. It's kind of like you're seeing berries. I'm like, okay, there's berries. So there's something connected with berries. Then when you look at it, you're like, oh, no, it was on, on somebody's hat. This was a, that was a headdress. I thought it was like a pie or something because I saw berries. No, it's a part of a costume, and it goes to the show, and this is a Broadway show. I had no idea that that was – I had no idea those berries were leading to a Broadway show. I thought I saw berries. It was going to be a pie or some type of food thing. It was a part of a costume. I had no idea. Go forward. Find out what's going on. Start it on your terms. It's highly recommended you start it on your terms. Start the conversation where you can control it, how much you want, it gets to be too much, I can go. Um, there's an adventure. I, I'll go with that. It is the Knight of Wands. I mean, what are we saying here? I feel like this is coming forward either way. So the Nine of Swords is there, and I feel like we're not getting around the stress. There's stress either way. Stress on your terms is going to be better for you. Stress that you can at least see what's going on. Stress that you can line it up to where, all right, I'm ready to deal with it, or I know it's going to be here. I feel like if I keep avoiding this person, it's like pop-up stress that just happens every now and then. And I feel like that's worse. If I go forward to it, I see the opportunity, I don't feel like it's as work. I don't feel like it's as bad. It's kind of like if you deal with stress on a scale of one to ten, by keep going the way you're going, I feel like it's seven, eight, seven, eight, every here and there. 
I feel like if you go towards it, it can be as low as a three, maybe like five and six every now and then, but can get probably down as low as a three where, okay, I can handle this on my terms. I know it's going to be an issue, but it's like, it can be as low as a three rather than seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Low as a three, no worse than a five or six if you're going towards it, but it could be because you're in control of it because you see what's happening and you know how to decide to deal with whatever. You can move things in position so it's not as bad. It can be as low as a three, which to me is significant, significantly better. The situation is going forward. There's something that you need to be a part of because you're important. You're there for a reason. You make a very strong effect, effect that's needed. The way you see things is important and it needs to be included in this situation to allow the situation to advance naturally in a positive way. So you need to be there. It can be easier on you by going towards it on your terms. Um, there's still stress there. I don't want to act like there's not. I feel like that's just a BS thing to say if I was like, oh no, it's sunshine roses, you know, skipping along the street. No, I don't think so. But it can be as low as a three, depending on how you handle it. And you can, the more you're involved with it, the more you can bring that down and you can mitigate it better. Um, but if you just let it kind of go its natural route, it's going to be obnoxious. Um, not the worst in the world, but seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Mm, you know, do we really want that? So it's up to you how you're going to handle it. The, the point of this reading, I feel like it's trying to empower you, kind of like there's a different way to handle this where this can go better for you. There's still going to be stress. We're not going to get out of it. But this can be more to your liking. It can be less, less stress. Are we good? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.